How's it going guys and welcome back to another RC in motion video and as you can see today we have a different rig uh, yeah I don't know if, how many of you have been following my Facebook page if you haven't I suggest you go like it right now and check out the uh, daily updates that I post regarding any type of build I'm doing and it'll keep you up to date versus watching uh, a similar video on YouTube so go ahead and check out my Facebook and check it out and yeah that's why we have this here we don't have the GSP chassis right now um, we kind of hit a, a little stepping stone on the way to this build so we have scratched the build and left it for a future build in May why you may ask well because um, I can't do custom work right now I have a, a tight deadline for this build and on top of that I go to school I edit I'm a one man band you guys have heard this in the past so enough with the repetitive stuff so instead we are putting the body as it as it is intended for the trail finder 2 but don't worry we didn't leave it there we went ahead and upgraded some stuff on the trail finder 2 to make it fit make it look more robust and an actual drivable vehicle so we pulled out the trail finder 2 uh, we went ahead and upgraded the drivetrain. We have the drivetrain is uh, these hardened steel Punisher shafts. These are the Punisher hardened steel shafts. You can find them on RC four wheel drive. We added the four link uh, in the rear, three link in the front with the Panhard bar. I don't know if you can see it. I will do some close ups here for you. Uh, those were provided by a buddy of mine. Uh, in the local group of the San Antonio Crawlers but you can find those on the RC four wheel drive website as well uh, in addition we added the GMA TSO ones these are the first gen TSO one scale shocks they have an internal spring and you can set whatever uh, stiffness or softness you want by just swapping out the spring inside I'll make some uh, a little close-ups here and there of it all uh we went ahead and uh lift the, we gave it a little lift on the front because as all of you may know let me show you here uh these are the stock shocks for the trail finder 2 and with the stock shocks you don't have that much of a travel and you don't uh have that much of a compression so it's limited to whatever stiffness your leaf springs are set up but because we don't have a leaf spring set up we have actual shocks we can actually get more travel but to, in order to get that um, that exact height because these shocks are about 95 or 90 millimeters I, I can't remember right now uh, we weren't able to connect into the stock um, shock hoops now I know some of you guys out there that own trail finder twos have done the uh, Glenda 2 mod where you put the actual Glenda 2 shock hoops but at the time I couldn't order them and I don't have them at all or any stores here in Texas carry them so instead what I did was I used a lift kit from uh, RC uh, Asia Tees actually from these guys right here AsiaTees.com um, and with that I was able to put in a screw through the uh, original stock uh, shock hoop to, so that way it can hold this uh, the shock in place now I've tried different scenarios, I've tumbled it outside on the rocks outside and it seems to hold up, they don't kink or anything so this setup is actually really good. I wouldn't suggest it because this can go forward or back but because they're threaded and it's not a nut holding it, it actually sits really firm against the shock hoop so that's a, uh, a little semi mod that I made there. Uh, with all that said, uh, for the actual blazer body the k5 blazer from rc4 wheel drive we had to do several adjustments now one of the adjustments was adding this bracket here now in the instruction manual it gives you this piece right here and it gives you this other piece 
do, don't try to go with what the manual says. The actual um, stock, the actual stock um, brackets here actually are the same size and width as the brackets that they give you. So just go ahead and install this um, this one piece here. Let me show you right here just install that one piece let me see if I can see that little piece right here just go ahead and install it to the respective place on these uh, stock uh, body mounts and you won't have to take apart the whole chassis and the uh, transfer case now with that said I was able to just put these on not worry about taking off the whole side of one chassis just to put in these brackets. That's what the instruction manual tells you. Do not go with what the instruction manual tells you. Just take this part off and bypass the little brackets that they include. They're the exact same length as the ones that they give you. So guess what? You got a free pair of uh, brackets if uh, or post if you decide to break one. Here is the body and I finished it. I really did not want to go into detail on how I painted it or when while I was painting it because I usually make mistakes and still with that I still made a couple mistakes with the paint job. But this is the, uh, the completed version of the K5 uh, blazer. You can see here the rear as well. Everything opens up. But there's a downfall to these bodies and these bodies they don't line up properly in the rear when you have the um, this topper uh, connected so you have to stretch it out in order to seat that tailgate in which can be fixed with some with some proper quality control but the overall construction of this uh, pain in the butt wise from a 1 to a 10 it'd be a 10 this is like the design alone is is crazy because these these small screws here are about 1.5 millimeter uh, in size the ones that hold the actual interior and these are just terrible these are terrible if you want to take off the interior you have to take off the topper you have to take off uh, four screws for the topper and then go in from the top or you can go in from the bottom and release these but the problem with these screws is that these screws are made out of butter and they strip really really easy so I suggest you just put in your own screws or any other screws like the team K and K hardware screws um, this design with the mirrors time and time I've said it before uh, these uh, the the body clip style mirrors they do not work they're horrible they twist they turn and and they're just not secure properly even with the added seals that they give you they do not work properly so that's a uh, a no-go uh, these this bracket back here uh, the holes and the pins the, these the, this is just a trim that you put on the on the window you have to put some glue on there some TA glue but the pins themselves do not actually line up now I don't know if it was just mine or um, it, it, it was just the body that I bought but they do not line up properly and I have broke in maybe several so I'd have to I had to glue it onto the topper itself the front windows uh, horrible design as well they go in with uh, with glue so let's say you put a little bit of amount of glue just to keep them in place because they're not secured with a screw you hit a bump they just fall down and you're done uh, they, they might get lost so I decided not to put them in and I decided to keep them out keep them off it gives it a nice look uh, as far as the interior the interior they could have done a little bit better with the height let me see if I can zoom in here uh, the height of the um, seat I don't know if you can see it there you can't fit a scale driver in there because he'd be driving with his feet and his toes so um, I believe those those seats should have been lower a little bit lower or, or, or less thick um, uh, but besides that the interior fit very well there's another part to this which are the wheels now these are the Evo high mass one nine 
six star or spoke, however you want to call it, wheels from Boom Racing. Now, you see this, uh, this nice, perfect bead. Let's see, let me just, okay. Sorry for the zoom in noise, but you see this nice, perfect bead on these Mad Beast Pitbull tires. Any other custom wheel, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be able to find that, be able to fit like that. Props to Boom Racing for doing this. Now these are the wheels selected, all because these were the old tires and wheels for the Trail Finder. A bit too small for a body this big. Uh, even thinking that the, um, the Toyota body is actually smaller than this, these tires look scale and nice. But with this build, uh, they would look way too small, not so scale, and because the body sits higher, we need to try and take advantage of all that extra clearance and room we have there. So, Mad Beast from Pitbull Tires and the Evo High Mass Bead Locks. Now, I went ahead and mounted all of these, did a little weight in the front, but here's the cool part. Let me show you this, this cool factor. So, once we have them mounted, look at that. They actually have a scale hub that goes with the wheel to cover up that thread. How about that? This way, this way, we can scale out the rig even more. There you go. Look at that, you won't even notice it's an RC car. But, with that said, I'm gonna tell you right now, I have wheels from everywhere. RC Four Wheel Drive, Axial, uh, G-Made, uh, you name it. Any wheel I have, and to be honest, these are the only set of wheels that I have not spent two to three hours on because they you can't get them together to hold that bead. Any tire, I can put these wheels on any tire, Proline, uh, RC Four Wheel Drive, um, what else? Uh, I can't remember. RC4 will drive Proline, Pit Bulls. Uh, I don't know which one else I have. Uh, Venom, I believe I do. And they'll always get the bead. They'll always catch on to that bead. Their measurements are right. And the installation, like I said, is super easy. All I used was my index and my th I mean, my index and my thumb, pushed it down, popped in those screws, and it was cake. It was easy. So I highly recommend these wheels and any of their other wheels. They have a, uh, they've released uh, new crate wheels, crate wheels or crate wheels, however you want to call them. And those seem to work amazing for everybody that's used them. So I suggest you check out their lineup in wheels, beadlocks, and tires as well. They're making tires. So with that said, that was a big mouthful of words. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little long, so I might just break it into two pieces. And um, hope you guys enjoyed and rate, comment, subscribe. And I'm sorry that I switched around the, uh, the project, but because of with time and uh, school, I really can't try to do custom work. I, uh, I, with the G-Speed chassis, I would have to cut it and I really didn't want to cut it and start cutting the body up. Probably in a future build, once I, once I scratch it and, and break it in, probably. But not this build because I don't have time for that. I have school and um, I, I have a deadline which this um, comp is going to be in about two weeks. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really sorry, but the bills is going to keep coming. This one is going to be finished and then the next one is going to be on the uh, G-Speed chassis. Thank you guys for, for uh, subscribing, checking out the channel and like I said, check out the Facebook page, Instagram and Twitter. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy.